Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the Smart Filter by OKViz. OK now the Smart Filter in many ways is very similar to the Slicer you're probably already very familiar with inside of the Power BI desktop, but I will note that there does have some nicer interactions that you'll find as you work with the Slicer. It does have the ability to actually do some search typing, which you can do with the regular Slicer. It also has the drop-down list capability, which also you do have with the native Power BI Slicer. But I will note that the Smart Filter, it has a little bit nicer interaction as you're working with it. And you can actually filter on multiple attributes within inside of the one visual here as well. So some nicer interaction that you have. Now, one of the things that the Smart Filter can do that a traditional slicer cannot do is that it can also be used to show the current filters that are set on a report. So say, for example, you're using one of those traditional slicers that you're very familiar with. You can then use something like the Smart Filter to be able to display those values in what they call the Observer Mode, which sim simply uses the Smart Filter as a way to just display the values that are filtered on the report, which is really helpful for those whenever they're looking at a report to really know what's been filtered on it. And that's one of the nice things that you have whenever you're using the Smart Filter. Again, this one is developed by OKViz. Let's go ahead and walk you through how you can use the Smart Filter yourself. All right, so to get started with, of course, we need to go connect to our data. And in this case, we're going to be connecting to some sales data that I will find by going underneath the Get Data section, selecting Excel. And then we're going to be using the file here called All Product Sales. So I'll select All Product Sales and choose Open. Once we connect to that file, we'll go ahead and select the spreadsheet inside of that Excel workbook called Sales. And I'll choose Load to load this now into my Power BI data model for this example. Then we're going to go ahead and bring in a bar chart just to be able to display some of the data that we have in this data set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a bar chart, just a regular old bar chart here, nothing special about it. And we're going to look at something like the products and their total sales. Now this is an incredibly large data set as far as the number of products. I shouldn't say incredibly large, it's just a, a lot of unique values here. You can see as I scroll down, there's a lot of unique different products that are displayed in this data set. And so it really makes sense to be able to implement some kind of filter so we can more easily find the data that we're working with. And so, of course, the Smart Filter is a great way to do that. And so to use a Smart Filter, I'm going to come up to the marketplace for custom visuals, and I'm going to search for the custom visual called Smart Filter. And so you can search for filter or Smart Filter here. All right, and once we find the Smart Filter, we'll go ahead and add that to our custom visual gallery, or really our visualization pane that we have over here on the right-hand side. You'll see that visual now available, and I'll go ahead and select it. Now, once we've selected that visual, we can apply multiple fields to the field list that we want to filter on. So say, for example, I want to filter on the category of the product. I can drop that into the field section, and you can see that appear here. I could also drop in the subcategory right below that, and I can filter on two different items. And within the same visual, you can now apply those filters. Now, the way this works is you can either start typing with inside the sections here, or you can start to actually hit the drop down box and find the items that you want to filter on. Now, one of the things that can be a little confusing whenever you're working with multiple fields, so you can see I have category and subcategory, but one of the things that can be kind of confusing is which one is which? How do I know which one is category? How do I know which one is subcategory? There is a nice fix for that. You'll find that underneath the format pane. If you go underneath the format section, you'll find underneath the filter, bo filter box, there is a property here called placeholder. And if you select placeholder, you'll see it actually adds in the uh, pl little placeholder value there so you know what you're looking at. So I know this is category, I know this is subcategory. Now if I do something like that, then it probably makes sense to go ahead and turn off the title because the title just says category and subcategory. So I could turn off the title of the visual here and now it's just a very clean filter here that we can work with. All right, so what I can do now as I, as I interact with this is I can select or type. Let's say, for example, I type clothing. And as I type clothing, you'll see the value actually appear here and I can select that to be the value that I want to filter on. And you can see now my bar chart is only showing items that are filtered down to the clothing category. Now I've added two different fields in here to filter on, so I could also come and I could either search or find the items for, let's say, gloves. And let's add in as well the vest attribute. So I can choose those here, I can choose those different fields and be able to visualize them here. Now you could add more subcategories to this. If I wanted to, I can go add something like the shorts. I could add socks, jerseys. Maybe I want to select everything except for jerseys. So I can select up to four or five or even more different values here if I wanted to. And one of the things you'll notice over time, this starts to eat up a lot of space because you know we happen to be working with words that are fairly short in text length, but I could be working with much lengthier text size. And so one of the things you can also do underneath the format section is if you go to the filter box, 
you'll see there's an option here for the compression where you can actually compress multiple items. And you'll see what happens is you'll see subcategories have been compressed where it's just saying that are five values that have been chosen here. And you can see the five values whenever you hit the drop down box, you can see the ones that are yellow are the ones that have been selected. So it's a nice feature whenever you have a lot of lengthy values, when those values take up too much space, you can use that compress item box to really give you a little bit more space. Now that's one of the neat things you can do. Now you'll also find into the filter box options that you have some things where you can select the maximum number of items that can be selected, the maximum results. You'll see you can also affect the color. If you don't like the colors that are being used, you can certainly change that to something else if you wanted to. You have the ability to really kind of tweak this however you want. And you could change not only the box color, the background color, you could also change the text color, maybe something like white, so it's a little easier to read now. You can also use this in a very different way. So let me explain what I mean by that. I'm actually going to undo our filters, and I'm going to get rid of category for a moment. So let's go back over to the field list, get rid of category, and just focus in on subcategory for the moment. And one of the things that we can do with this is we can actually leverage it with other items or other visuals. So for example, if I click in the background and I wanted to bring in a regular slicer that you have always available inside the Power BI desktop, and say, for example, I wanted to filter on subcategory with that regular slicer, and of course, bump up the text size a little bit so we can see it. Let's knock that up another notch or two. There we go. Now what happens whenever I select values in here, it is also applying that filter or that cross-highlighting or cross-filtering, I should say, to our slicer that we have up top. Now, one of the nice things about what, well, how the way that the smart filter works is if you actually select it, you can go underneath the format section and you can apply and switch to the observer mode. And what the observer feature lets you do is actually just be able to see the values that have been filtered in other visuals. So check this out now. If you just look at this, you'll see it looks just like we have a list of values that we have selected inside of our regular slicer. And the nice thing about this, you got to think about this from an end user's perspective, is if my end user attempts to maybe perhaps print this report, they're going to want to be able to see what values have been printed. And if I'm choosing to use a regular slicer as a dropdown, perhaps, then you'll see it kind of flipped over there to all. But then it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to actually see the values they have selected if I don't have something like the, the, the smart filter here to be able to display those values so it's a really nice feature that allows you to be able to see, because otherwise, if you see here with the drop-down selection, it's just showing the, the multiple selections here, because it can't display all the values here, but we can use that in conjunction with the smart filter to be able to display and show what that actually means, what's actually being used there. So it's a real nice way to be able to apply filters. Outside of that, you've already seen many of the items inside the format section. We've talked about the different items. I will highlight here that OKViz has actually been a, a pretty up front runner here when it comes to dealing with accessibility problems. So things like uh, if you if you happen to suffer from a color blindness, they actually have some settings that you can come in and actually change and choose a particular type of color blindness that will help you be able to see the values a little bit better. So you can make it more of a low contrast if you wanted to. You can see you can really choose from multiple types here to be able to adjust the way the, the visual is displayed. So it's really nice that they've implemented that in here. So it's a choice that you can select and choose to make your visual more accessible to those that need it. That's really it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this smart viz custom visual. I look forward to showing you another custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.